This film takes you on a journey, a journey through space and time. I want to tell you the story of an instrument that has vastly improved our view of the skies, sharpening our perception of the universe and penetrating ever deeper toward the furthest edges of time and space. Looking at the night sky, we see the familiar twinkle of starlight, light that has travelled enormous distances to reach us. But we're not seeing the stars themselves flicker. The universe is gloriously transparent. The light from distant stars and galaxies can travel unchanged across space for thousands, millions, even billions of years. But then, in the last few microseconds before that light reaches our eyes, the accurate view of those stars and galaxies is snatched away. This is because, as light passes through our atmosphere, the ever-changing blankets of air, water vapour and dust blur the fine cosmic details. So for many years, astronomers around the world longed for an observatory in space. As early as 1923, the famed German rocket scientist Hermann Oberth suggested a space-based telescope. However, it would be decades before technology caught up with the dream. The American astronomer Lyman Spitzer came up with a more realistic plan for a space telescope in 1946. From a position in space above Earth's atmosphere, a telescope would be able to detect the pristine light from stars, galaxies and other objects well before it was distorted by the air we breathe. The result? Much sharper images than even the largest telescopes on the ground can achieve. Images limited in sharpness only by the quality of the optics. In the 1970s, NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and ESA, the European Space Agency, began working together to design and build what would become the Hubble Space Telescope. The name is a tribute to Edwin Powell Hubble, the founder of modern cosmology, who in the 1920s proved that not all that we see in the sky lies within the Milky Way. Instead, the cosmos extends far, far beyond. Hubble's work changed our perception of mankind's place in the universe forever, and the choice of naming the most magnificent telescope of all time after Edwin Hubble could not have been more appropriate. It took two decades of dedicated collaboration between scientists, engineers and contractors from many countries before Hubble was finally finished. 
On April the 24th, 1990, five astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery left on a journey that changed our vision of the universe forever. They deployed the eagerly anticipated space telescope in an orbit roughly 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. On Earth, the astronomers waited impatiently for the first results. But less than two months later, it was clear that Hubble's vision was anything but sharp. The mirror had a serious flaw. Engineers have discovered that the giant telescope has a warped mirror. One of the mirrors in the Hubble Space Telescope is out of shape. And as a result, the pictures it's sending back are no better than those from telescopes on the ground. A defect in the shape of the mirror prevented Hubble from taking sharp images. The mirror's edge was too flat, by only a mere fiftieth of the width of a human hair. But to accomplish its mission, Hubble had to be perfect in every tiny detail. The disappointment was almost too great to bear. Not only amongst astronomers, but also for American and European taxpayers. Nevertheless, over the following two years, scientists and engineers from NASA and ESA worked together to design and build a corrective optics package named COSTAR for Corrective Optics Space Telescope Axial Replacement. Hubble's masters now faced another tough decision. Which science instrument should they remove so that COSTAR could be fitted to Hubble? They eventually chose the high-speed photometer. Hubble's first servicing mission in 1993 has gone down in history as one of the highlights of human spaceflight. It captured the attention of both astronomers and the public at large to a degree that no space shuttle mission since has achieved. Meticulously planned and brilliantly executed, the mission succeeded on all counts. CoStar corrected Hubble's eyesight more perfectly than anyone had dared to hope. When the first images after the servicing came up on the computer screens, it was instantly clear that the glasses taken up by the astronauts were completely correcting Hubble's nearsightedness. Hubble was finally in business. That was only the first time the Space Shuttle visited Hubble. The telescope was designed to be upgraded, to keep utilizing new capabilities. When more advanced instruments, electrical or mechanical components became available, they could be installed. Plus, just as your car needs servicing, so Hubble needs tuning up from time to time. Engineers and scientists periodically send the shuttle to Hubble so that astronauts can upgrade it using wrenches, screwdrivers and power tools just as your mechanic does with a car. There have been four servicing missions so far in 1993, 97, 99 and 2002 all undertaken by astronauts transported into space by NASA's Space Shuttle. The next one was supposed to occur in 2005 but was unfortunately cancelled in the aftermath of the tragic Columbia crash. Hubble's future is uncertain. It was originally designed to operate for 15 years, but it's now expected that its life could be extended to 20 years. Hubble is still producing the most astonishing results astronomers have ever known. Hubble's important mission will eventually come to an end. An unmanned probe will link up with Hubble in orbit and dock with it. When leaving Hubble, the robot will leave behind a rocket module so that after some more years of fruitful observing, engineers on the ground can activate these rockets to control Hubble's final descent into the atmosphere and to a peaceful final resting place in the ocean. However, the retirement of the Hubble Space Telescope will not signal the end of our unrivaled view of the universe. Rather, it will mark a new beginning, an era of even more amazing discoveries and images from space, 
for Hubble has a successor. The James Webb Space Telescope is being designed right now and may be launched as early as 2011. When that day comes, scientists using the James Webb Space Telescope hope to discover and understand even more about our fascinating universe.